About eight years ago, I started carving pumpkins, and it got a little out of hand. Most people make an elemental mistake. The pumpkin is a great, big, huge piece of God's creation, and they want a great, big, huge knife. Something that you could probably win the Peloponnesian Wars with. Some people would rather slaughter a cow than take the insides out of a pumpkin. I use an old spoon with a wood handle, a nice stiff shaft. It works a lot better than putting your hands inside and getting all gunked up. It's not necessary. An attractive face is one with curves, just like yours. For little kids, like my pal Lindsay here, I recommend the pumpkin cutter. And remember kids, always use the pumpkin cutter with... Your mom or your dad. Great, good advice. Now you notice what happened here. It's not the same. Sometimes that doesn't make a difference. Every human being has eyebrows. Unless you're one of these high fashion gals, but we'll pretend that you're normal and we'll give you a couple of eyebrows. We have another pumpkin that we've already marked with my favorite Halloween face. This face I started doing when I was a teenager and I sort of adapted it, but it stayed the same for a long time and it seems to be everybody's favorite Halloween face. We won't draw this guy on. I've carved this face a number of times. This is as good as any. And this is the best side of the pumpkin. The back side here was the side that was growing on the ground. Now we'll put a cat in here. With curved ears. This candle should burn. This is a normal dinner candle for an hour to three hours. And that's a good time. And push it out. Push out the candle stub when it has when if you did forget it and it's burned down. 